Hello everyone, it's Jordan from AutoAid. Today we're going to be looking at a 2014 Chevy Express with a 6 liter. Um, this vehicle has uh, some communication issues. So the customer complaint is the vehicle loses communication and sets a bunch of dash lights only when in park, reverse, and neutral, and between all gears as well. Uh, communication resumes when shifted into drive or manual mode. Um, so when you're in park, reverse, neutral, no communication. Um, when you're shifting between uh, drive and manual mode, um, it, it also loses communication for a second, uh, but resumes in drive and manual. So kind of a kind of a bizarre issue with this one. Um, no prior work was done to this vehicle either. The shop had this in and looked at it for a bit and just decided to call us. Um, so they didn't do any any work or, or attempt any repairs on this vehicle. So we're going to start by scanning the vehicle for codes first off. Um, on the left, we have our ECM codes. Um, we have several lost communication codes. Uh, U0101, lost communication with TCM. U0121, lost communication with EBCM. And uh, U140, U0140, lost communication with BCM. Um, also check TCM codes, uh, lost communication with ECM. Lost communication with UBCM, lost communication with BCM, same same kind of idea, but just a bunch of communication codes. So with this vehicle, a scan had to be done in um, drive, uh, otherwise it wouldn't communicate. Uh, both ECM and TCM are setting communication codes, um, but they were communicating at the time of inspection with the vehicle in drive. Um, there were a bunch of other modules as well on the CAN bus that were setting communication codes, um, but I just included codes for the first two uh, modules there. Uh, when shifting into neutral, reverse, and park, or between all gears, the scan tool loses communication and many dash lights come on. So after seeing all the codes and, um, and the loss of communication with the scan tool while we're shifting, uh, we determined that we had to scope the CAN bus. Uh, to have a look at the signature and see what it looks like. Uh, next, we decided to inspect the wiring diagrams to see exactly how the vehicle communicates on the bus um, and how it's wired and what circuits need to be tested. Now, in this particular vehicle, um, the CAN bus is set up in what we call a chain network. Um, one, it's set up one module after another, like a, like a chain. Um, so, uh, with with a a network like this, um, if you have a break in one of the circuits, say we have a break here, uh, we will lose communication on everything past the break. So the TCM and the PCM in this case would uh, lose communication, but we'd still have communication with all this. Uh, now that does not appear to be happening on our vehicles. We are losing communication with everything. Um, so I'm not, I'm not certain that we have a break in the wire or anything like that. Um, I think we have something else causing the, uh, the network to short out, but um, uh, on this particular vehicle with this network, um, there doesn't appear to be uh, a gateway. Uh, now the trouble a gateway would cause is it can sometimes change the signature. Um, on particular vehicles, uh, kind of like Chrysler's, the um, fuse panel or the totally integrated power module is the gateway. Um, it has several different CAN bus circuits going into it and it then takes those CAN bus messages and puts them all together on a diagnostic CAN network and uh, outputs that to the scan tool. So if you scan at the DLC, uh, you can still have issues with uh, the CAN bus elsewhere in the vehicle, but the, the, the CAN DLC uh, potentially could look okay and you wouldn't think you'd have an issue. So on vehicles like that, you gotta be careful. You, you, you would have to scan um, everything going, or sorry, you'd have to scope everything going into the uh, totally integrated power module. But in this case, everything looks like it's uh, hooked up uh, in a chain network and uh, that, therefore it's gonna be the same everywhere on the CAN, uh, on the CAN bus. So on this particular vehicle, we are able to uh, scope it right at the DLC, and that'll give us a good representation of uh, of what the CAN bus looks like throughout the whole vehicle. So the easiest place to uh, check it here is at the DLC. Instead of going uh, rummaging through the wiring um, and, and poking holes in the wire and stuff like that, um, we're able to get it right at the DLC here, pin. 6 and 14. 
So we first decided to scope the CAN bus with the vehicle in manual mode. Uh, we know the vehicle communicates in manual mode and we can use that to scope um, we can use that scope signature to compare it to the scope shot we get when the vehicle is not communicating properly. So this is the vehicle in manual mode. It, it is communicating here, uh, but that signature doesn't look correct either. Um, we're just gonna have a look at that signature in a little more detail and see, um, see what's going on. Um, the first thing I notice is the bias voltage is incorrect. Now the bias voltage is kind of the, the voltage at uh, which the component operates at. Um, so in this case, the CAN bus usually operates at 2.5 volts and uh, um, toggles up or down. Uh, in this particular vehicle, it looks like we're at about seven and a half volts and they're both pretty much mirroring each other. They're toggling downwards to close to zero. Uh, that's not correct. It should be two and a half volts toggling up or down, uh, depending on if it's CAN high or low. So next we're going to take a scope shot of the vehicle in neutral. Uh, this shows the signature while shifting from manual to drive and then from drive to neutral. So this first section here is uh, when we're in manual mode. This is the shift between manual and drive. Uh, and then this signature here is while we're in drive. And then this uh, signature here where it dies completely, that's when we shift into neutral. So what we know, um, what we know right now is that the CAN bus signature appears incorrect at all times. Uh, it only seems to create a communication issue when in park, reverse, or neutral, which is kind of bizarre because this this CAN bus is completely uh, this is completely messed up. This shouldn't look like this at all. And I was actually very surprised that this vehicle is even communicating um, with that CAN bus looking the way it was, but uh, somehow it was still communicating. Um, but uh, when when it did die like this completely, there was just there was no communication whatsoever, and I could I can see how there's no communication with this because it's completely flatlined at zero, and this one looks like a complete mess. Canvas issues can be caused by one of two things: um, you can either have a wiring issue where the wire is broken, uh, corroded, rubbed through, or making contact with ground or another circuit, uh, or a module issue where the module is shorting or distorting the signature, uh, where it has an internal. Um, issue with the circuit and uh, either shorts out the circuit or messes the signal up. So in this case, uh, what we're going to start, uh, what we're going to do is uh, disconnect one module at a time. Uh, that's kind of the easiest way to start with an issue like this rather than going digging through a wiring harness. Um, we kind of like to rule out the modules first just because they're usually the easiest to start with. Um, so right now we're going to uh, we're going to disconnect the CAN bus uh, modules one at a time while monitoring the bus on the scope. Uh, we're going to start with the most logical one. Uh, in this case, we know our issue occurs during a shift. Uh, so the most logical one, I think, uh, is going to be the TCM, um, which, which is on the CAN bus on this vehicle. So we're going to start there and uh, uh, see, if we can, uh, see if we can get lucky and hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's the one that's causing the issue. So this is the CAN bus with the TCM unplugged. Uh, so it kind of looks like that uh, TCM is our issue. Uh, with it unplugged, everything communicates normally. You shift uh, and, and everything looks fine. Uh, no lights come on on the dash, nothing like that. Um, you just have no communication with the transmission, obviously, so there's an engine light on, but uh, um, none of the ABS lights or, or any of the warning chimes or anything like that is coming on. And I can continue to communicate with every module on the bus uh, while we're shifting and while I'm park neutral, reverse, etc. Now that we can see that the TCM appears to be the culprit and that everything returns to normal with it unplugged, uh, before we replace the TCM, uh, it's very important that we check it for powers and grounds uh, right at the TCM with the problem occurring. Uh, so we're going to plug everything back in and um, shift it into park, have the issue occurring, and uh, have a look at the powers and grounds, make sure that they all look okay um, with, uh, with everything plugged in. And it's important to do it with it plugged in uh, because you want the circuits to be loaded while you're testing them. So in this case, we have uh, several power inputs and a couple grounds. So in this case, we have uh, several power inputs uh, and a couple grounds. We have um, B plus here on pin one and four, and then you have ignition one voltage, which is right there. Uh, and you have a couple grounds, ground there and uh, 
ground up here. So on our first circuit here, we have 12.3 volts battery voltage. On our next circuit, uh, battery plus again, uh, with battery voltage, so that looks okay. And then the ignition one voltage, we have battery voltage again. So all the power inputs look okay on this vehicle. Now let's just hop over to the grounds. Ground, we have uh, 0.3 volts, or sorry, 0.03 volts, which is, uh, that's good. And on the second ground, we also have 0 0.03 volts. So it appears that the powers and grounds in this vehicle check out fine. So on this vehicle, the TCM was replaced uh, with a new unit. And once we went out there and programmed it, um, the vehicle shifted totally fine. Did not lose communication with the new TCM installed. Um, everything appeared to be fine. So uh, in this case, um, kind of a bizarre failure. I mean, I've seen a lot of TCMs fail on these vehicles, but I've never seen it manifest in uh, the way that it did on this vehicle. Uh, since this vehicle, I have not seen another one like this where uh, it loses communication only during shifting. And uh, I, I don't really have an answer as to why it was doing it. We didn't uh, take the module apart or anything like that. Um, but it was definitely an internal issue on that TCM. So really bizarre failure on this vehicle, but uh, in the end, it was the TCM that uh, fixed the vehicle.